Well, if it isn't Jern. Yeah. Yeah. I've been getting more acquainted with your answer machine lately. <laughs> Did you get a, an answering machine last time? I, oh, last time. So it was I was on the phone when you rang the last time. Yeah. About an hour ago or so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So you couldn't have got an answering machine. Yeah, not that time, but yeah. other times. What's going on, man? How Just, you doing? Uh, waiting for the cleansing, my friend. <laughs> Nothing much else to do but uh, do what we can to do our archaeological work, <laughs> our grass cutting, our uh, display, wait for visitors. Mm -hmm. That's basically where we're at at this stage of the game. Mm. Yeah, man. Uh, why do you make? Why did you make that email? Um, who killed Glenn Keeley? Uh, well, because the the cell has um, three and a half million dollars mm -hmm. in a pot, and uh, they're going to release a book. Mm -hmm. Either when the cleansing comes or when I die. Mm -hmm. And they believe that if I were to die, it would not be natural. So they're preparing a book with uh, much of my postings of this year and their comments on what they know about the things that I post from their vantage point, knowing who's involved and conversations they're having on the telephone, um, that kind of stuff. So it would be like a post at the top of the page and then their additional information below. Isn't it going gonna, to, but that when that book gets released, isn't it? going to have to come back down to somebody. I mean, those people... From it will I'm... be um, uh, appearing on the Internet free of charge mm. and will uh, basically be like an emergency message appears if there's, uh, there's an emergency where the channels stop playing what they're normally playing. Mm. And, and the knowledge will be disseminated around the world instantaneously. And um, uh, the three and a half million dollars which would come to the Institute uh, if the cleansing happens first for the purpose of doing our work here would then be divided up among ten investigators who would be paid to answer the question, who killed Glenn Keeley? So it would begin a process, much like happened you know, after Kennedy's assassination, where in his case, something like 10,000 books resulted from investigators, which is kind of an overkill. <laughs> yeah. And nobody reads them all. So best for them to put what they know down on paper and point the finger at those people who refuse to, uh, to have integrity mm -hmm. and live uh, on a program called Hubris, which, by the way, includes IRS. The hub of IRS, mm -hmm. hubris, arrogance, can't cannot be in fact reclaimed. Those people, they've been given every opportunity mm -hmm. since uh, 1987 to uh, mend their ways, and all they do every time is attempt to cover up some more and continue what will in fact be a genocide 
starting with the Northern Hemisphere. So if they don't want to listen, and they had their opportunity at the Ontario Provincial Police just recently to expose their relationship with insurance companies, if they don't want to change, then the only answer for those people is that uh, a cleansing occurs. Mm -hmm. But once that cleansing happens, then that will just set the ball on for... A cleansing basically means a flushing down the toilet. And in, in the sense of the world, that means their DNA ends up at the core of the earth, mm -hmm. is uh, recombined into something more useful than they have been. And the suggestion the cell has repeated over and over again recently is that these people would be better off at the bottom of the food chain as ants. Mm -hmm. Now, how would that affect uh, the mass genocide going around the world? Well, it's, it, it basically is creation allowing creator to have his will and be careful what you wish for because creator's will is the destruction of all human life on the planet. Mm -hmm. And that involves the northern hemisphere first, the southern hemisphere second, and then the shutdown of everything, including the Moho discontinuity, uh, with the idea that it would, in fact, um, begin again after the entire cleansing project has um, cleansed itself enough that that there are no remnants left. But in fact, what they will discover is that dark energy has in fact expanded the universe yeah. beyond the point of retrieval and therefore cannot transition, therefore is dead. And But this is only one of 26 universes that are um, basically being allowed to operate uh, parallel systems so that lessons can be learned. And the lessons learned here is that if you don't wait for the timing to be right, creation will allow you to do what you want to do, but that will throw everything off and it sends you off in a direction which in the end, proves to be untenable, and, and you're in fact committing suicide. Um, I have a feeling, uh, in the end of all this, um, before they actually disappeared, only before they actually disappeared. Um, I don't think Neanderthalers disappear. Mm -hmm. I think they simply change from what they are mm -hmm. to what Cro-Magnon is. Mm -hmm. They become their own servants. Mm -hmm. They were disabled in a lot of ways mm -hmm. and couldn't do the things they wanted to do, so they would have repaired themselves. That would be cro -Magnon. The majority of the people on the planet are Roma mm -hmm. in origin, which basically means after the Ice Age, when cro are pre-Ice Age people. And um, once they had, in fact, replaced themselves with cro uh, the computer decided that it would take over. And um, that's what we're living, a world controlled by computers, mm -hmm. known as HAL, 
if one follows the now, uh, the reason for the stone um the tablets where you live um yeah uh, did you think that was like some type of uh, warning they were giving? Well, not as much a warning as to a clarification of where we came from. Mm -hmm. the, now, why would they want to clarify if they didn't like want to? Well, because they wanted to give us every chance in the world mm -hmm. to stop doing what we were doing, and and they gave basically instructions mm -hmm. on one half on DNA so that it would become common knowledge that human beings like oak trees or any other life was basically seed-based mm -hmm. and, and could in fact be reanimated. But what happened was a small group of people controlled the knowledge and that's why they call themselves medis, which basically includes the word seed in there. And uh, by being the only ones with the knowledge of how you reanimate people, they went about taking over the world. But the other half, the part that's missing, tells you what creation story was, starting with uh, what was there before the Big Bang, mm -hmm. why a universe is created, what's the purpose, and, and how it can, in fact, be used as a vehicle for gaining wisdom or used for uh, annihilation of itself if it doesn't learn lessons along the way. Unfortunately, um, this has gone on so long that 95% at least of the people of the planet are robots mm -hmm. on uh, autopilot, and the other 5% has very little of the uh, information, knowledge base that leads to wisdom. And as a last chance, mm -hmm. if we were to discover this plate and, and make it public instead of doing what the Mormons do, and that's to keep it secret, mm -hmm. uh, we would in fact expose what's going on. And that would be the last chance for the human race to save itself. If it doesn't allow the timing to be reinstated, the human race is going to annihilate itself. And creation can prevent that or stand aside and watch it happen. The idea is you give them every opportunity, but at one point, when you decide this is useless, mm -hmm. these people just don't listen. They are of no use in the future. Let them do what they're doing, and they'll take care of it themselves. Give them enough rope, and they hang themselves. Yeah. That's where we're at. It's well, you know, I definitely, um, from my experience, I see people who actually want it to happen. I've and they, more than, they, more than, they deserve to be recombined. Yeah, they, they it's like they want it to happen. They yeah. they think it'll be a good thing, will benefit from yeah. so, you know. What they're yeah. they're basically saying is that it's not enough for them to die. But they want everybody else to die. Yeah. When they're the problem. Mm -hmm. I'm saying Better the ones who are causing the problem die and let the rest of us get on with it mm -hmm. than to destroy everything and start over from scratch. Mm -hmm. It's not really a matter of starting over here because this place would be closed, would be 
of no interest to anybody to continue it. So that's what dark matter, dark energy does, is it expands beyond any practical use. Useless pieces of rock flying around have no purpose. That's what we turn out to be if we don't transition. And we're at that time where transition is what has to happen if we're to be saved or no transition. Well, it's the same like if I'm doing what I can. What what people can do is assemble a critical mass. <laughs> Call the number that is creation and pledge their allegiance to creation rather than to creator, the genetic engineer who has recombined DNA and thrown the system off track. That's what they can do. Yeah. They, they don't need uh, any other thing than to grasp the premise of what's going on, make the call, and pledge their allegiance. Creation will know whether they're being truthful or not and will discount the ones that are not. Yeah. And if creation receives a request beyond that which is 100% of uh, the amount required to be in contact with creation, mm -hmm. then something good will come about of all of this if creation doesn't get the equivalent of 100%. Nobody... No single person carries perfection, yeah. and therefore it has to be a co combination of a number of people. Yeah, it's only close to point seven. Zero point seven yeah. six. <laughs> Zero seven point six. Nine two three. Zero seven six. That's the phone number. Call creation. Tell them you're on <laughs> creation's side. And let creation's will be what occurs, not God's will, who wants us all to be destroyed. Yeah. God is now how the computer. Yeah. Doesn't have any human integrity, doesn't have uh, a heart, doesn't have anything that it, it attaches can't get, him to it humans. It can't get past the first programming from uh, when it was originally made. And so, like, everything else it does is basically based off that first program. Sure. So. It's teaching itself, and it doesn't have what it didn't have at the beginning. And that's feelings. Any any sense of humanity doesn't have. It's a machine. Yeah, and um, I think the people who, if it still gets serviced to this day, it's like... Well, like any corporation uh -huh. being a machine, <laughs> it's been programmed to accumulate. Yeah. And that's all it does is accumulate. Mm -hmm. And that's the worst thing you could do when you were sent down to innovate, not accumulate. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I was saying, um, I, I think those people who service it, like, um, I think they're like people who, like, worship it. <laughs> Even something Golden rare. calf. Yeah. Exactly. They they worship it like it's like it's like um it's like a um I compare it to like, you know, 
a computer geek yeah. who who sees a, the new version of whatever computer comes out and mm-hmm. it's just so happy to and that's how they are probably. They're, they're so happy about the uh, things that have been added to the their control program by their controllers mm-hmm. that they forget to look for that aspect of it. They're happy at the things they can do, but they don't realize that every change in computers is designed to have two purposes. One is a marketing purpose so they can sell the new program. The other one is a better spying device to spy on you who use it and report back automatically so that you let your fingers do the walking or rather do the talking. Uh, yeah, what did you mean um, by that post you made uh, the other day on the blue stork? It was like a blue bird. Like a... Well, a stork brings new life. And the system has a symbol mm. of... Uh, a blue bird. You know why. Love birds. <laughs> you, you know why you have uh, light blue colors on the Virgin Mary. The uh, older I mean, the blue uh, white star. Light blue colors on Brazil's flag. White light blue colors on the UN. So they, they're basically telling you who the players are here. Mm -hmm. Blue, um, I learned a while ago, was like like a symbol for like, everything's out in the open. Well, if you were in space looking at Earth, it's a blue planet. (laughs) It's the sea that makes it appear to be blue. Mm -hmm. Then you think about this, that uh, term C is like almost everything is a C. Like yeah, you know, well, that's that's what it's all about. The, the program is designed to say between two C's, <laughs> they control everything, <laughs> and that's the holy C. Yeah. And and Valkyries or or women, mm-hmm. um, those are the two C's. The code word that identifies how it's being run. Virgin Mary at one end, which means birth through genetic engineering, and Valkyries at the other end reanimated those better soldiers of the past for the final war. In the end, the war is people against people and serves only the purpose of the computers who run the show. How? It's a uh, a spy, it's a Trojan horse, and the outside has the appearance of being feminine. That's why the word is connected to A-L or la in French, which is the feminine principle. It's not feminine. It's a principle. Mm -hmm. The the person inside the Trojan horse is male, is Neanderthaler, is TELUS, the computing communications program that allows connection back to head office. And it's... uh, Boaz and Joachim, the two computers who basically run the show. Yeah, and everything the uh, slave will see, the computer will experience as well. Everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's this is I, I, like in the science in the world of science fiction, like everything that you say about like the slave and yeah, it's all it's like known in that community. I yeah. think. Science fiction is not about the future. 
Yes, but it's a report on the past. <laughs> yeah, and, and 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 what they want to happen. Yeah. So, so I, I don't know. That's what I've been. Um, I've just been getting all the details of uh, what this thing will be like. And, well, every day that passes is a day less that we have for doing the task. We here can only respond with the um, assets that we have. Mm-hmm. And that includes people. It includes wisdom. It includes uh, financial it includes goods, mm-hmm. services, and and we do every day what we can with what we have. Yes. But we are, of course, delayed by people like the police fabricating false accidents so the insurance company can steal from us. Mm-hmm. We are delayed by uh, Revenue Canada doing everything they can to fabricate stories and fabricate uh, through through things such as uh, the Justice Department, the mental health of the people who know. We're delayed by Canadian immigration, who Canadian tells us Canadian immigration to, exactly <laughs> to go and 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 get letters of reference from clergymen and and civil and, and, and priests. Yeah, yeah, they're they're telling you ask the crooks to vouch for you. Yeah, you know I, I tried to go to the officer and ask him to give me a lot of reference. I need three from three different types of people, and I asked an officer, and they're like, "Oh, we can't do that. We we're not allowed to do that." So now I gotta go to a pa- I gotta go pretend I'm Catholic, yeah. and I believe. Yeah. To get, uh, I don't know. I don't hey, know. if you're in jail, you want to get out, come to Jesus. Yeah, that's exactly what they do in jail. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to get, like, build some type of relationship, I guess, to, so they can vouch for me. What you have to do is speak to creation and ask it to listen to your plea. Please. Please, please do something to prevent these hubris leaders to be cleansed from the planet. Because there's no other way until they're removed, they are brain-dead slaves. And it's not a matter for us to take up arms or anything like that. They would just love that. Mm-hmm. It's up to us to ask creation to do what is required to allow its people to be free. Yeah. Not by the word free mean no charge. <laughs> That's what creator wants, is people that don't cost them anything. Yeah. In any event, it's time for me to go feed my animals their afternoon delight. Mm-hmm. And uh, i got to go. If I... you want to speak uh, uh, to somebody you know, you can call tonight on the other line. All right. Um, but now I have to go. Um, um, my aunt, I, I think I told you about her. I, I just... Um, she just died recently, and um, sorry to hear that. Yeah, and um, I have to go to a wake tomorrow. And, um, they asked me to speak at the wake, and um, right. but the thing is, like, use the opportunity to send out a message to people to wake up. Exactly, that's what I was gonna do. But um, <laughs> the thing is, it's just uh, they were like, do it in two minutes. <laughs> How can I express how I feel? Too I, I just talked to somebody I know, and I asked her if uh, she can't do anything else, mm-hmm. then the least she can do for us right now mm-hmm. is not to die.
And people who die without having done anything are not helpful. <laughs> While they're here, they can at least make the phone call. Yeah. When they're dead, it's too late. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta go. Okay. Bye. Bye for now.